It was a calm night in the summer of 2010. I was walking alone in my home city when I found myself in Times Square. I met my friends Daniel, Hayes, and Addie when suddenly the city blacked out. A voice started to play, demanding that we submit to its will or it will unleash hell upon earth. Everyone shrieked in terror. People were trampled and the stores were raided. My friends and I left to not get caught in the crossfire. We went to a secret hideout to analyze the voice. It was Tupac Shocker. We looked at the TV screen and saw the world being massacred. There was only one choice we had to activate Skynet. Addie warned me of the dangers if Skynet goes active, but we had no choice. Skynet was activated and battled the outlaws at the expense of humanity. We set out to kill Tupac once and for all and reclaim humanity. Tupac had a fortress of doom in which he commanded his army so I went to a secret DARPA facility and stole a high-tech jet. Tupac knew we were coming. We entered the fortress and expected great resistance. We slaughtered them like cattle. But then, Biggie appeared, and countless more outlaws. We thought we were doomed. But, Zimzam came to our aid and shot them all to death. Tupac appeared on the TV and told us we were all doomed. Checkmate, I exclaimed. Huh, the fuck you do, nigga? Tupac said in great confusion. I rigged this place with explosives. You're going out with a bang. The hell I am, nigga? Tupac said. The fortress started to crumble. He's escaping, said Hayes. The hell he is, said Daniel. We ran up the fortress, determined to kill Tupac. But just then, Naz blocked the way. Hayes threw a knife straight into Naz's eye. That was the end of Naz. We made it outside to the flight deck, where we saw Tupac escaping. We ran as fast as we could to board the plane. We made it. There were more outlaws on the plane trying to kill us. We all scored headshots. Just then, Easy e confronted us. Daniel Rand has kicked him so that the soul got knocked out of him. We busted down the door to the main cabin where Tubac was. Tubac was nowhere to be found. Tupac came out of nowhere and grappled me, using me as a meat shield. Drop it, nigga! said Tupac as he pointed his gun at Addie and Hayes. You can't win, Tupac. It's over, said Hayes. Just then, Daniel shot a window. We were violently thrown around as the plane violently started to go down. Tupac tried to hold on, but as Addy was thrusted forward, he kicked Tupac in the face. It was at this moment Tupac knew he fucked up. Addy put his gun to Tupac's head. Tupac's head was blown off. His brains flew out like a volcanic mess. All the blood and ooze covered the walls. The plane crashed. We survived. The next day, we woke up to world peace.